Hi, my name is Stephanie and welcome to WatchMojo.com. Today we're speaking to Rob Zombie about his involvement in the Halloween franchise as well as his other film projects. Your music and your films often contain scary or violent images since you're often inspired by horror and the surreal. Were you afraid of these when you were younger? Not really. I mean, when I was a kid, I just loved all that stuff. I think the only movie I remember actually finding scary was Jaws. It was the only thing I could actually relate to because it's supernatural things. I, I don't believe in any of that stuff, so it doesn't bother me. But. I do believe sharks are in the water. That ruined my summer as a child. So if you don't believe in the supernatural or the paranormal, then why do you seem so fascinated by it? Well, I find it interesting. I mean, it's good fictional material and I, and I love it, but I don't believe in any of it. I find it hilarious to watch other people be scared by it. So House of a Thousand Corpses was your directorial debut. Yeah. And it wasn't that highly favored by critics, but it has a huge cult following, as does its sequel, The Devil's Rejects. So I was wondering, does the critical reception of your films encourage or discourage you, or do you not care about their reaction? If I was just new to making movies and had never done music, maybe it would really affect me, but I've gone through this for the last 25 years. I mean, people don't remember because nobody was thinking about it, but none of the White Zombie records that people are like, oh my God, that's my favorite record, got good reviews, and still they sold millions and millions of copies. You know, you listen to their opinion. I mean, you can't live or die by critics, but now it's just any jack off with a website's a critic and who gives a shit. So when you remade Halloween, I was wondering if you ever felt intimidated by the fact that it was such a classic horror movie. No, the reason I didn't was if only John Carpenter's Halloween existed, that would be different. But the fact that there were seven shitty sequels that followed it, I truthfully thought by the last one that the movie was so far in the gutter that it needed to be saved. Not until our movie had Michael Myers even looked good or scary or anything. He just looked like some little guy with shoulder pads and a cheap looking mask. I know that you're a friend of John Carpenter, so yeah. I was wondering, what did he think of your version of the film? I don't know, I talked to him before I made the movie, but I never talked to him afterwards because I figured that the last thing John Carpenter ever wants to talk about is Halloween. Why would he? I never ask anyone their opinion because I don't give a shit. You know, I think if you stand around waiting for people to give you their opinion, and hope they say something good, you're, you're gonna have a long, disappointing life. That's why we you, know, you just have to go through life knowing you're right and everyone else can go f themselves. That's my philosophy. It seems to work. For the <laughs> Halloween, the sequel. I mean sorry. that in the nicest way possible. For the sequel, Halloween 2, you said that you didn't feel bound to retain any John Carpenterness this time around. So I was wondering, how did you make this movie your own? Well, nothing in the movie relates to anything that's come before. You know, with the first Halloween that I did, since it was technically a remake, I thought, okay, well, we have to keep some elements of things that John did. Even though if I could go back in time, I probably wouldn't do that now. But that's why I was excited about the second one, because I was like, F it, I'm not. I don't care. I'm just gonna do whatever I want all the way through it. That's why I like the movie so much because it doesn't have to adhere to these nonsense rules about what a Halloween movie can or cannot be. I'm making the rules now. I can do whatever I want. I've heard that you're working on a couple of new film projects, uh, namely Tyrannosaurus Rex and maybe a remake of The Blob. Is yeah. there anything you can tell me more about this? I'm not sure what's next. I mean, The Blob was one thing that came up that came to me as a possible film to do. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. And Tyrannosaurus Rex is another movie that I wrote that I really want to do, but a movie is sort of like a giant boulder that doesn't want to move and then suddenly it moves and then it goes just spiraling out of control and that's kind of where we're still in the pushing the boulder phase to try to get it to move. Thank you so much for sure. your time. No problem.